And we're back with episode 8 of This Week in 3-Gun. We are back in Rexburg, Idaho. We're going to jump into stage 1. This was our independence shoot. All right, shoot away. Uh, took forth on July 11th. Bye. Um, this stage right here uh, was a little bit challenging for me because uh, you're going to see I'm going to take quite a few extra shots. And that's because my scope is not dialed in. Um, you guys remember I put a different scope mount on there and I just kind of roughly got it sighted in. So uh, it's not sighted in as well as I needed it to be. Um, after this stage, I did stay um, when everyone left and just did a, a quicker rough zero and kind of got it closer to where I was needing it to be. I'm about 8 inches uh, high, if I remember right. So there was some targets out there I had to shoot, and then this is a golf ball that I'm shooting at right here, and I'm slowly working the reticle um, down, trying to, you know, hit that golf ball, but I just could not get it, so I just gave up. Um, this is called the old rickety bridge. Uh, you can see it's kind of suspended with some chain. Um, so right there, you can kind of see it just wobbling around. So same targets I shot off of that platform. I have to shoot offhand on the Ricky Bridge. I don't exactly remember how many was out there. I think there was four targets. Maybe 150, 175 yards out. So after you shoot those steel targets out there, they're just hanging off of a piece of chain or belting. Um, you transition over to your shotgun and you have to take some slug shots and They were pretty far away. I ran out of slugs from the last shoot and I wasn't able to get the ones I wanted so that that gun my Stoger M3K prefers uh, a certain type of slug and just couldn't get any more so I did hit uh, one of those slug targets, but Right here, I'm reaching for some slugs, putting some more in. I think that one I hit. But now that I'm done with the shotgun, transition over to pistol, and there's a hanger right there. You gotta hit twice. Hanger there, you gotta hit twice. And a hanger right there, you have to hit twice. So this next stage, I'm going to do a different shooter other than myself. Um, this one there is some knockovers on some uh, platforms. You run back and forth between these two boxes. Right there you can see he's stopping in a box. So I guess it's kind of hard to see, but from each box you can only shoot twice. It doesn't matter if you hit or not, you can only shoot twice. So you can see he's running back and forth. Um, right here he's choosing go. to stop and load up in one spot. Um, we'll see how I do it after uh, this clip here. But you can see how long it's taken him to load up his shotgun. So there's two. Runs over to this box. Shoots twice. And if you miss... You still have to run over to the next plat uh, spot and shoot off some knockovers until you get them all down. So, let's like say only two shots. So you see, there's his time. So, here I go. You know, I'm I'm a thinker, so I'm kind of got a little game plan down. <laughs> all right, Travis. Shooter on Santa Claus Park. stupid smirk on my face. Shooter is ready. I got this all figured Stand out. Stand by. So, two shots. Two shots, and I looks like I missed there. Kind of got a goofy run. Two shots, and then I have to run to that box again anyway, so I decide to throw in some shells. Back over here. I gotta run back, so I'm loading on the move. I thought about it. I decided to throw in some shells again. Looks like I missed there. Oh yeah, 
So every time I'm running to the right, you can see I'm loading my shotgun. At no point do I actually stop and load up. Okay, 52.67. So now this stage is all pistol. Um, we'll see how I do on this one. This one, I don't pay attention, guys. Uh, I need to start paying better attention to stuff when we do walkthroughs. But you can see I'm I'm moving and shooting. Right here, I have a little magazine feeding issue. I'm just sucking right there. So there's little poppers and a knockover. Popper, knockover, and a popper behind each of those um, pieces of plywood. So there's I'm thinking I'm about done here. I, I didn't even go over to the left, which they're going to start yelling at me here in a second. See right there, they're saying, hey idiot, go to the left. There's more stuff down there. Over. So I shoot that. Yep, come clear over here. Remember, it's there you go. a 60 second penalty if you don't get them. So now you can see there's four targets exposed right there. I didn't know anything about those. He got him. He's... Yep, he's good. So this next stage you're going to recognize from previous episodes. Um, you can see there's an ammo okay. box there, and it's got all of our she ammo mixed up fire. in there, our magazines and ready. ammo. Stand by! So you have to run over, pick up your shotgun, and all that mixed together in there. So you see I'm pulling out a magazine and some shells. Um, so what I tried doing is I'm trying to grab them two at a time right there, and double loads. one and then there's a knockover which activates a clay pigeon thrower to your right got that next go to the pistol and everything's mixed in there so i start loading up uh, the ar mag and when i'm done with that magazine i decide to load up the pistol I just get it all done at once get it all out of the way I'm going to load 11 rounds in this magazine. I thought that was going to be plenty. Um, so there's one, two, three, four. And I decide to just reach in there and grab one more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Take that one out of my mouth, throw it in the magazine, and boom. Remember, I kind of got my rifle sighted in a little bit better, so these targets go a little nicer than the first stage. That guy right there was a little tiny, I'd say two or three inch. Same thing happens here. Yeah. I don't really pay attention. Oh, I thought more. I was going yeah. Square, like, square, where, where, square. Where the target. Yeah. There we go. Shooter is finished. Unload. Show clear. One, three, three, two, eight. One, three, so, three, two, eight. Clean. This is the final stage. Shooter, understand the course fire. This one, I remember. Shooter ready. There is uh, six targets out there. About two, two twenty-five ish. Um, it was one hit each, so I'll shoot them from this platform, and then you have to run over right in front of me. You can see there's called the rooftop, 
you have to run over to the rooftop, climb up on there, and engage the same uh, static targets a second time, one hit each. So a total of 12 um, hits out there. Then when you're done shooting, since we're going ahead of our uh, weapon, we do want to completely clear it. You know, safety Hit. first, guys. Hit. Hit. Good. Clear, clear, right clear. there, I dropped the mag and I completely clear it out. Grab my shotgun. There's some knockovers out there. That one, for some reason, didn't uh, had a little issue with it feeding, and I have an issue right here. I'm something's going on. So I'm kind of preoccupied with checking out my shotgun, not watching where I'm going. So right there, you can see some kind of issue. I don't remember what it was, but it's a pigeon. Knockovers. Each has a pigeon. 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 Got all the pigeons. Get the popper to the left of the white barrel. Switch over to your pistol. There's a little popper Good. over there. Behind that white barrel. It. Yep. You got it. I saw it go. Not down. Yeah, but you hit it. A little target right in front of me. And then the Texas Star. Alright. The shooter is and finished. Unload. Show clear. Slide Thanks forward. For hammer down. Holster. Eight. Pistols clear. One one seven two seven. One one seven two seven.